kitchen I have got a show for you today and of course it's gonna have all of these wonderful lemons first thing I want to do is give a shout out to those that donated to me I want to give a thanks to Pete um, Velma and Lisa I put a post out there does anybody have lemons and they immediately contacted me and handed me these beautiful lemons and I'm so thankful uh, because we are you are gonna need lemons today for the show I'm making a lemon crinkle cookie I want to give props to Macy Manti she is the one that wrote the recipe and I love it and I made the cookies and I got such a huge response on Facebook everybody wants the recipe so I'm making this today to share her recipe with you and you are going to love it I'm gonna go over the ingredients with you and the very first thing you're going to need is flour you're gonna need two cups of flour you're gonna need one tablespoon of cornstarch you'll need one heaping teaspoon of vanilla I have a Mexican vanilla here you will need a real vanilla not an imitation uh, you'll need half a teaspoon of baking soda a fourth teaspoon of salt a half cup of coconut shredded coconut and you'll need a fourth teaspoon of this coconut extract I got this at Joann's uh, in the candy section or you can get a uh, coconut extract in the spice aisle and a half cup of melted butter you'll need two eggs but one egg and one egg yolk and you'll need one cup of sugar and of course you're gonna need lemons because we're gonna have to have lemon one tablespoon of lemon zest and you'll need a fourth cup of lemon juice which I've already juiced here and then the last thing is you're gonna need powdered sugar to roll the cookies in and I think that's it we'll be back to put it together you're going to need a scrub brush this is a vegetable scrub brush so you can scrub your lemons very well before you zest them now I didn't have a zester you can get a zester utensil but I had a, a little small cheese a grater it's the very small one so I use that I love lemons I absolutely love them they're so wonderful for you and I have some lemon water here which is something mm, you can sip on during the day it's so cleansing and so refreshing but I had to stop to go over a few of the health benefits of lemons first of all these beautiful lemons are full of vitamin C on the medical news I looked it up it said that they lower uh, stroke risks they lower blood pressure they're a cancer preventative and they are also boost your immune system and they're full of high antioxidants they help with asthma and my favorite well almost one of my favorite is they help with your skin complexion they play a major role in producing collagen for your skin which is wonderful I will be back to get started on the cookies the very first thing we're going to do is put the one cup of sugar in and then we are going to add the eggs now this was one egg and one egg yolk and what we're going to do now is we're going to blend this for one and a half to two minutes okay it's on we're going for a minute and a half to two minutes we need to get this all combined really well oh it looks so pretty okay it's been two minutes and we're going to go ahead and add in the teaspoon of vanilla and the coconut extract and we're gonna blend that for a little bit and I'm gonna throw in the melted butter the half cup of melted butter I'm gonna put it a little faster okay now I'm adding the one fourth cup of lemon juice and I'm adding this wonderful lemon zest one heaping tablespoon of lemon zest and it smells amazing and we're gonna blend that just for a little bit almost done 
and I put the two cups of flour in here, the one tablespoon of cornstarch, and the fourth teaspoon of salt. I went ahead and combined it very well, and now we are going to actually toss this into I'm just gonna toss it all in. I know some people probably put little by little, but I'm just gonna toss it in and we're gonna just combine it a little. I'm gonna turn it on very low because you just want to combine it. You do not want to over mix this uh, cookie dough. So I'm gonna put it on till it's just mixed a little bit. I'm gonna stop it there and I'm gonna put the last thing is going to be the half a cup of coconut and we're gonna mix it very lightly because we don't want to over mix this dough and I'll mix the rest with the paddle and I will be back here it is this is the final product here and it's going to be sticky like this very sticky we're going to have to put it in the refrigerator for 25 minutes we're going to cover it right now but I want to let you know normally it comes out pretty yellow but I added a tiny little tiny little tint of butter cup yellow so you can do that if you want them to come out really yellow I put like less than an eighth uh, speck of coloring so here we go I'm going to go ahead and get this out and we are going to cover this and we'll be back in 25 minutes to cook the original recipe calls for rolling the dough in two sugars but respectfully I am not going to roll them in the white sugar I'm just going to go ahead and roll them in the powdered sugar so you can do what you'd like if you want to roll them in the white sugar and then in the powdered sugar go ahead and do so but um, I'm gonna do this one and we'll get ready to roll we are on and I just want to let you know that you can use a regular cookie sheet that I have sprayed with some coconut oil now if you don't have one of these silicone mats you can go ahead and use your regular cookie sheet with some cooking oil but I'm gonna do both and we'll see how the cookies come out so the first thing you're gonna do is get if you want them all to be the same size you're gonna want to use a cookie um, scoop so I'm gonna see I don't really like using these because they always get stuck sometimes but there's one so now we're gonna make it into a ball that's why you had it in the refrigerator because it was a really sticky dough so we're going to roll it in the powdered sugar and you want to cover it a lot I have to say this because it's gonna make the most beautiful cookie <laughs> and you can also say you don't have a scoop you can also just get it you know kind of eyeball it about a good size and then just roll it by hand not everybody has a cookie scoop or so here we go and we are rolling I'm gonna finish rolling the other cookie sheet, but I'm gonna put these in the oven because I have to show you what they're gonna look like when they come out. So we're gonna put it in the oven for nine minutes, between eight and nine minutes, but I've noticed nine minutes is like really the perfect time, so, but check your oven, cause some could be fast or slow. So I'll be back to show you what they look like. Okay, I took them out of the oven. It was nine minutes I had mine in. They are set and they are soft. Now I let them sit five minutes on the counter to cool off and then we're going to transfer them over to the cooling rack but you have to look at them because they're so beautiful and they smell so wonderful so i'm going to go ahead and transfer them over to this cooling rack they're already pretty much set but aren't these the most beautiful thing you've ever seen i was just so awestruck when i saw her picture that she had posted of the recipe and the picture of the cookies that I had to try it for you all. And when I tasted them, they're amazing because you know what? I love coconut and I love lemon. So I 
I'm going to put these here. I have another one in the oven and I will be right back to do a taste test with you and let you know what they taste like. I just wanna let you know a little fun fact about me. I used to work for the school district and I was a teacher aide for many years. I did a lot of fun things with the kids. I did crafts, was one of my specialties. So I thought of actually putting these cookies on a stick. So I actually baked them. I put a little, uh, I'll show you, I'll try to pull one out. I actually put like a lollipop stick while they were baking. And then I just went ahead and cut out some leaves with some construction paper. And you can do this with your kids. I thought it would be such an adorable thing to do. And I just got this bucket at the uh, dollar store. So you could do this with your uh, kids and you can try it out. Maybe I should just eat this one. I just wanna read something encouraging to you today. I just want you to know whatever battle you're facing, whatever heartache you're going through, that you're going to win. No matter how hard you are going through a battle, no matter how badly you've been hurt, you win. These scars across your heart will heal. The wounds will heal. Your heart will beat again with life again. No matter what you've lost, he will restore it. There is beauty that comes from brokenness. Power flowing from pain and an anointing arising from these ashes. No matter how long you've been fighting, remember that you win. You win. How do I know this? Because God says that you can do all things through him. You are the head and not the tail. Nothing shall be impossible. This battle that you're facing did not come to stay. It will pass. Though you're walking through a valley, he will lead you to higher ground. You will mount up with wings like eagles. You are unstoppable with a fire that's blazing within a holy fire to incinerate the enemy of your soul. Through all the fiery trials and struggles, through all the pain, through the times of you in the battlefield of life, when you just want to sit down and give up through the tear-filled nights and the dryness of the desert, the times when you just didn't know what else to pray. Hear me now. You win. With God, we have victory. So I want to encourage you with those words today. And I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. And I hope you absolutely love these cookies. And you have to try them because they're amazing. Now, if you like lemon... They're very lemony and they are wonderful. And I appreciate you spending time with me and thank you so much and come back again.